All right, guys, welcome back to episode five, I believe this is, on Ravenport. Uh, today, we're going to begin over in Field 21, uh, getting this canola harvested. Um, we were working on Field 18 last episode. I, we're going to definitely get that finished up today. Um, I have the time set to uh, 15 up there, you know, 15 times faster than normal. Uh, we're going to try and keep it where we have an episode uh, through each in-game day. So hopefully this episode will end in the evening. We, we might throttle the time and adjust it um, accordingly. It just depends, but we'll see. So I'm going to get this put on a worker here uh, so that we can go and spread the lime over here because at the end of last episode I did realize that uh, this field needs lime uh, because we had just harvested it and I guess it was the third harvest uh, from the farmer that we took over from uh, so we're gonna we're gonna get this going here make sure we have our spreader selected there all right and I also have a uh, contract arranged for us to do as well uh, it's a pretty big one it's actually on uh, field eight there it's I believe it's corn I could be wrong but uh, it, it's a pretty big payout and we're we need we're in dire need of money so we will get that done today we'll, we'll probably do it in a time-lapse fashion um, I, I really like doing the the, the time lapses because uh, it allows you guys to kind of see what's up but at the same time it doesn't get boring and you know I want to try and keep the series as interesting as possible here for everybody so yeah, we're gonna get some lime spread on this field. Um, I actually have not decided what we're gonna plant this field. We could do, um, I don't wanna do oat because we don't have horses yet and oat really does not pay that well. Um, I mean, you know, it. I, and I, I still have not taken care of the workshop yet. We will, or I will definitely get that taken care of because that's, a, that's an eyesore. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to get the ground back to normal. I'll have to uh, figure it out. Because I believe when you delete something that you've already placed down and it's leveled the ground, the ground remains leveled out how it, it uh, changed when you purchased the, uh, the building. So we'll have to deal with that. So I'm on the, uh, the last little strip here, and for some reason I'm noticing that uh, our worker did not get the last little bit here at the end of the last episode. So I'm gonna grab the plow and just do that because that's gonna annoy me. And I'm sure it'll annoy a few of you too. So we will, it looks like we can actually just cut through here, right to our little shed here. I'd like to get all, all these bushes uh, moved and put a road there. Um, yeah, I'll just back this in right where the, uh, the, the combine normally parks. We also have that trailer over there attached to the case that has a decent amount of corn in it so we will get that sold as well man I cannot back in for some reason today Let's see if I just take it slow here it's like very I guess it's because the draw bar is very short uh, so it's I know in real life the shorter the trailer is the harder it is to back up so that's not really an excuse I'm just I'm trying to uh, make light of a bad skill set that I have. Uh, so yeah, we'll grab the plow here and we will just get that last strip. Again, it does not matter that we, uh, well, just hit the trailer. Uh, it does not matter that we uh, put lime on that unplowed section because we'll just plow it right in and it will uh, count toward the field. So, quite bumpy through there. Um, yeah, so let's just uh, get in position here and just do one little strip. All right. So yeah, I am seeing a lot of mods that are uh, being added to the uh, the mod hub in the menu there. So as I see fit, we can uh, we can add some more mods to the uh, to our game here. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, the stuff you want to see. Uh, feel free to let me know. I'm totally open to uh, trying new stuff out. Um, I, I don't really want to use any mods that are crazy unrealistic, like the 
the headers that are like a hundred feet wide. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not up for that. I'm not, it, it's fun to mess around with, but I like to try and stick to how it really is in real life. But we could do maybe a series in the future where we just use ridiculous stuff. Um, I don't know. So I was thinking we might actually plant this field grass uh, because we could do silage bales and silage bales are worth quite a bit. So it's just a thought, but I will have to think about it here. I would put it up to a vote, but uh, I think the problem with it is I, I want to get it done this episode. And if I put it up to a vote, then we're going to have to wait till next episode, plant it. And as I've said before, uh, turning the fields around in this is really important. So uh, I'm actually going to uh, hop in the case here. And we're going to go sell this corn because that, the combine over there that's harvesting the canola is probably going to be full pretty soon. So we need to check here what our best corn price is. Um, if we scroll over here to the corn... Um, it looks like the central grain elevator is the best, so if we go and check that. Okay, so where we sold the, uh, the wheat or the barley, I can't remember which one, the first episode, or the second episode, my bad. So we'll, uh, we'll just turn around and go up that way. So on our way over here, I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a cab view. Um, I do like, if you notice down there, the pedal is, uh, is animated, and obviously the steering wheel is. Uh, and I know I've said this before, but the, uh, the cab suspension is just awesome. I think that is so cool. I mean, of course, we aren't really hitting any bumps. You can see a little bit there when I steer, it moves over. Um, so, yeah, this is actually the field. So, it is corn. Uh, this will be the field that we're doing today. I've actually already uh, taken the lease. Uh, the equipment is sitting over in the shop for us. I did not want this field to be harvested uh, by the farmer that owns it because it, it's a decent little, I think it's uh, 20 grand, uh, something like that. And then on top of that, we can get a bonus from the uh, the field itself from harvesting more than uh, the farmer wanted. So hopefully we can get a decent amount of little cash here. Hopefully it can bring us up near maybe 95,000, 100,000, somewhere in there. So we'll see here, crossing our fingers. Cause we're in dire need of money. Um, I definitely want to get into horses because I have noticed that, uh, horses are very profitable. Uh, they can sell each of them up to 50,000 and you only, uh, pay 5,000 for each. So those are definitely worth it, I think. Uh, so yeah, we got 11 grand out. It wasn't as much as I was hoping for, but it's still better than nothing. So, uh, we'll make our way back over to the farm because I know our combine that's harvesting the canola in field 21 is going to need... Uh, emptying pretty soon and uh, after I empty that I will um, I'm gonna put a worker in field 18 planting the mystery crop that I have not decided yet um, and then we will finish the episode off by harvesting this field here uh, as our contract um, and yeah that, that uh, should take us to the end all right so we're just coming up on the uh our little area here and uh i know i keep calling it our little area i hate doing that uh it, i mean really it's our i guess we, we we should just call it the yard we'll call it the yard uh that'll make it to where i don't sound so weird calling out our little area um so yeah and we will go up to the combine here and get it emptied out because i believe it is almost full uh and then we will get a worker in this field I think, I think we're just going to go ahead and plant this grass here because um, I'd like to do some silage bales. We've been doing a lot of harvesting uh, in the combine. I think it'd be fun to do some some hay baling. We haven't done any baling since episode one. Uh, so it seems to have missed a bit here, but we'll just come back and do that ourselves uh, after it's all done. So I'll just, as it's turning around, get it up. On the when it's coming back down the field so it can uh, keep working as we are paying the worker 
kind of crazy to see the combine go up a hill like that and then turn around, but I guess whatever gets the job done, right? So we will uh, we'll come up next to this guy and get him emptying. Uh, this field should pay out decently. Canola is a really good crop. Um, so we'll hopefully be able to make decent profit. As I've said, we are running low on money here. Um, things are always expensive as it is in Farming Simulator. I guess in real life too. I mean, most farmers don't go uh, once a day and buy new equipment. You know, they usually do that probably once a season, I would imagine. Uh, obviously not like a new combine or a tractor, but uh, you know, maybe a different a different uh, tr uh, chaser bin or, or whatever. All right, so he's empty. So we will, I'm just gonna park this up over here because um, we're probably gonna have to empty him again. So we will, I'll just turn this off and we will get the John Deere and get that planting grass on this field, on field 18. So I'm gonna actually take the, uh, the uh, front loader off here because I don't want the worker hitting uh, anything that could possibly be in the way. Um, that took off the, there we go. Okay, uh, we'll get the planter here and bring it over to the field to get some grass. I think, so we will actually probably lease a, a wrapper uh, because I think the wrapper is like 40 grand if I remember correctly, if we look in here. Uh, bailing tech, and we go to yeah, okay, 54 grand. Uh, I think I actually downloaded the uh, wrapper from FS17. But this only does uh, round bales, and we have a square baler. Uh, we could we could have bought this, like I said in the beginning, but the issue with it is it makes round bales, and round bales tend to roll, and especially since field 18 is slanted. Or sloped, we will we'll probably just lease this because we'll definitely make four grand off that or uh, four grand off that field. So we will probably do that not in the next episode, but the episode after that. We will have to see how how the field grows. Oh, before I forget, I did turn uh, the crop growth to slow because it, uh, I don't want us frantic frantically rushing around trying to. Uh, harvest everything and get everything fertilized. Uh, I would like to be able to do some more contracts so that we could see some of the uh, bigger machinery. Um, but if it becomes too slow, then we can always uh, change it back to normal. That's what I had it on before. So we'll have to see how it goes. So we will set this up on a worker here and then we will go over to uh, Field 8 with our massive combine, I think it's the New Holland, and uh, get it going so that we can make some money. And uh, we can actually check right now how much uh, that contract was. So okay, it's 25000 so we could probably make close to 30000 um, which would take us well over 100 k um, So we'll have to uh, hopefully hope for the best there. Yeah, so we've got the uh, New Holland CR-10 here uh, with a decent sized header on it. So this field shouldn't take too long. Like I said, I'll probably just do a time lapse anyway um, so that we don't have to have a boring uh, episode. And if, if it becomes that I'm doing too many time lapses, I, I'd really appreciate it if you guys uh, you know, said something because I, I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm just going off of what I uh, I enjoy, but you guys might enjoy something different than me. So I'm trying to unfold this header here. Um, do that. There we go. I'm gonna stick it on this uh, trailer. Didn't actually mean to lower that. And in the beginning, the uh, well, I guess it's on the wrong side, so we're gonna have to pull the trailer out. Um, really, this header is not that wide when it's folded up, so we could probably just take it as is, fold it up, but. Being that we are given the trailer here, I guess we might as well uh, use it. So 
So I'll pull this out and we will stick the header on there. So we'll just line this up here. It looks like we're getting some wheel slip. Uh, I think that should uh, that should go on there. I don't honestly know. There we go. Sometimes they're a little uh, wonky on the header trailers. Hopefully I put that far enough back. I don't know how long it, or how far under the hitch is. I might have to move it backwards a little bit. It looks like it'll be okay, but uh, we'll have to see. Looks like we just caught the train in time. Uh, as it goes through here. I do like that they made it where the trains are uh, actually a live moving thing around the map. It gives the map more of a lifelike feel. So I think the uh, the journey over field 8 isn't too far if we look on our map here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit up the road, but it's not too far. Okay, so we are at the field here. Uh, I will park up over here and we will go that way because I believe uh, if we look on our map here yeah it's definitely better to do it that way so we will grab this here this harvester you figure because it would have tracks it wouldn't slip so much but I guess maybe the weight of it is just so much that tracks slip I'm not sure so we will grab this here and back off the trailer, there we go. And we'll get this on a worker and I will go grab the, uh, the bin for this, the uh, semi and the trailer. I forget which trailer it gave us, but uh, I think it's pretty decent size. So we'll unfold this and uh, get this on a worker. So we'll just start this up here and let her go on. I think it's a chick. Uh, yeah, she has her hair tied up, it kind of made her appear as a man because it's really hard to tell the difference in this game unless you get up close. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, I will go grab the semi. Yeah, so we actually get the, uh, the new Wilson trailer. Uh, this was not in 17. Uh, this is actually really nice to see because it, it's more of the traditional, uh, American style uh, semi-trailer, I guess you would say. Um, I know that we definitely in it here in the United States use uh, the chaser bins and stuff from John Deere and uh, all the various brands that manufacture chaser bins. Uh, and I think these are more used to haul on the roads themselves. So really you'd have a chaser bin in the field uh, collecting the grain from the uh, combine and then you'd have this parked on the side. Um, there's a, at least some of the farmers that I watch on YouTube here in the United States, that's how they uh, their farms operate. It, it could be uh, different, but yeah, it looks like the worker, I set it up here wrong. It uh, missed the row, but we'll get that at the end. Um, I guess I'll park up here and we will get this thing uh, ready to open, so yeah. I think actually what's cool about this trailer is, yeah, there's two compartments. So you can have two types of grain in this trailer, or you can have uh, one side. You can have both the same types of grain, but you can only empty. If you only want, you can empty uh, one section. So that is interesting. And I think if we open this up, um, yeah, so the tip side, we can change the tip side here. Um, I believe... Yeah, so we have back and front. You can see that there, the second one down. So yeah, that is a, uh, an interesting feature. So I'm going to go and check on the uh, on our combine over in field 21. It looks like he is uh, getting to the last little bit here. Um, I checked he's going to need emptying pretty soon. So we can uh, grab the case here with the trailer and empty. And we can finish up the spots here that uh, he missed. But this field should uh, yield decently. I think the uh, canola is going for a decent price. Um, we go here. So 1300 that's not bad. Um, and I know, guys, we can use the uh, the railroad silos here. Um, 
here and uh, here. And I believe the thing with those is we can actually uh, store our grain in them, is what I was getting at. I could be wrong, but I've read that we can actually use those to store our grain in. But I will have to, we'll have to try that. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and sell this right off because we need the money anyway. Um, and we did, uh, we do have a great demand at the sawmill, so we might, uh, maybe we can do some uh, wood chipping or uh, something of that nature. I'm hoping this will all fit in the same trailer. Uh, it would be nice. I hear, I think that's a glitch. It's like the backup sound gets stuck on the combine if you have it on a worker. I'm not sure, it's, it's kind of weird. It's not supposed to be on the whole time. I know I'd go crazy if I was in the field with it in real life. So this is still empty. I don't want to ruin our crop here. We'll empty the rest at the end here. It should have plenty of space to uh, finish the field inside of it. Update on our uh, planter here. It is about halfway through the field, I believe. Uh, if we go on our map here, um, yeah, so just about halfway, and uh, we're actually going to have to uh, fertilize this field as well as 21, obviously, when we uh, replant it, and uh, yeah, we should be good. Okay, guys, so the, uh, the combine there just got full and I emptied it. It appears this farmer actually has weeds in their field, so they're not going to be... I guess it kind of hurts us because we're not going to be getting as much uh, extra at the end here, but uh, hopefully that is not too much of an issue. Uh, so we'll let this uh, crack on with the rest of this. Um, I'm going to go wrap up field 21 and then we will uh, finish off with a, uh, a time lapse here of the rest of this field. Okay, so we are in field 21 over here. Uh, I'm just going to finish this off with the, the little bit that the worker missed here and uh, we can go sell this grain and hopefully we can make a decent profit here uh, at least enough to uh, pay for all of our expenses as far as lime and fertilizer go so we get this emptied I think this will definitely fit in the, uh, the trailer here and we will take it over to the uh, I actually forget where the best price was so we'll have to check again here um, park this up and check if that will empty possibly I wasn't close enough there we go okay so the best price is um, we go in here the ranch I believe so or no did I, I have that backwards no yes the ranch so we'll head to the ranch to sell our canola. Um, where is that on the map? Because as I've said in the past, I uh, still am learning the map here. So the ranch is over here. Okay, we have not been over here to this side of the map. So that ought to be good to see. Um, so I probably will not, uh, we'll probably definitely uh, finish or get this field turned around in the next episode. Uh, that is almost done there, so that is good. Um, so we will head over to the ranch here. Hopefully we can get, I don't know, 15 grand, something like that. That would be really nice. That would take us over 100,000. Yeah, we have not been over to this side of the map. I figured I would uh, show it here. Um, I think I actually took a wrong turn there. Or missed a turn. No, I guess uh, going this way is fine. So this was actually the starting area. Uh, the very first clip of this whole series was over there uh, at our like two o'clock. So we will go up this road here and uh, kind of see through here. So this is kind of like the, a forestry area here. We could actually come over here and do some forestry if we bought this land. Um, I think it would be cool to have contracts where you actually did forestry. Uh, for other farmers. Uh, I know they have the bailing contracts, which is kind of cool, but uh, there's no forestry. Uh, and there's no silage either, uh, I, I don't think. There might be. I, I just haven't seen any where you actually uh, harvest the uh, 
you know, like the corn, and do uh, silage, you know, forester, you know, forest harvester. I keep calling them forest harvesters for some reason. I am not sure why. I meant forage harvester. Uh, I think I said that before, so I apologize for that. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like the view of the mountain here, or the hill. I say mountain. This is not a mountain by any means. These are just hills. Um, so yeah, we will make our way up here. I'm actually just going to come up to this road here so that we can get on some pavement. Because I believe that's pretty steep and I don't know how this tractor will do uh, hauling the uh, hauling a heavy load up the, uh, the hill there. Uh, so yeah, we will make it right here. Oh, there's the train again. Uh, this farmer has withered sunflower. Or no, those are just ready to harvest. Uh, they always look withered when they're ready to harvest for some reason. This is a very pretty area of the map here. Uh, the uh, the openness is much more present than Felsburn. Felsburn has a lot of breakup as far as trees and uh, hills. This is very open. This reminds me a lot of the Great Plains uh, in, cent in the central part of the United States. Uh, so if we come down here, hope them on the right way here. We're going to have to empty the uh, worker there in a second. Looks like this is the place. I would say that's a lot like a ranch house. Uh, hopefully they will give us a decent little amount of money here for all of this canola. And the tractor is just powering its way up the hill here. Uh, let's cross our fingers. 15,000 is what I'm going to put my money on. I'm not cheating. I have not looked at this before, I promise. Uh, I was wrong on the first one, so there you go. On the corn that we sold earlier. It looks like we're gonna get, yeah, in the neighborhood of 15. 16,000, okay, that's not bad. Uh, I will take that. So we will actually uh, take this back to the yard. Uh, but first, I'm gonna go empty the, uh, the worker over there. All right here, so the worker likes to uh, get full on the wrong side. I know the crop destruction isn't affected or isn't uh, activated really when you're in the uh, when someone else when you're in somebody else's field, but I try and keep it uh, somewhat realistic. I say that as I I uh, just teleported over here uh, from the other side of the map. Uh, I do the teleportation because it speeds things up. Um, it's not, it's not making the game easier. It's just speeding things up, I would say. Uh, and I'm, a, I'm not for doing things that make the game easier, uh, as far as the unrealistic stuff goes. So I'm gonna try and keep as much of this grain in this first section. I'm sure we'll have to empty into the second section anyway, but uh, we'll fill this first section up here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna em finish emptying this. Put this back on the worker. Uh, take the case back to the yard and check on the John Deere over there, and then we will take over uh, and finish out this episode with a time lapse. So it looks like we have a little bit of a horse uh, stable here as I'm crooning off the road. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to. Let's actually check this out real quick. Uh, I know I said we're trying to uh, go and take care of our stuff. But I figure we might as well check out the map here. Uh, it looks like this is... I don't know if you can open this. Let's see here. Uh, if I turn the... Uh... No, we cannot open it. Uh, I'm not sure if this is... Uh... I guess we could take our horses over here when we get some. Maybe we can put our horse... Uh... We can buy this piece of land here and put our horse on it. Our horses on it. I guess yeah. This, okay, this would this is part of the ranch. So this is an expensive piece of land. Um, but yeah, we, we could possibly do that. We could stick our horses somewhere in here, or maybe on field eleven. Although that's a lot. Well, we don't have to. It wouldn't delete the whole field. We could still have a lot of field eleven. And it looks like the railroad goes right through here too, so that's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, it's just something to consider for the future. So we will go ahead and head back to our farm, uh, to the yard, and. Uh, take care of our stuff Sometimes I wish we could uh, put our vehicles on the train uh, With some sort of locking script on the flatbed part so that we could 
transfer them around the map um, with somewhat haste because uh, a train is a lot faster than a tractor but uh, maybe a model come out it would be pretty nice it appears our worker is getting along with relative ease uh, still just making a tiny dent in a huge field so we have a long way to go but uh, it is a $30,000 profit uh, off that field so that is uh, gonna be nice for our bank account and it looks like we'll actually be closer to 140,000 uh, by the end of the episode, so that will be nice. I think maybe next episode we might get into doing uh, some horses. Maybe we can uh, plant that field as oats. Uh, we will get some straw off of it as well, so we can... Because uh, I believe they require uh, straw as well. I don't know how to look into it to make sure. But, uh, yeah, that would be nice. I think the uh, worker here in uh, field 18 is done. We can just go around back here and check. Uh, I, I do want to get these bushes taken care of. Uh, we can we can probably do that next episode uh, between jobs. So, yeah, this field is planted, so we will just have to harvest it. Or I Okay, obviously harvest it, but we were going to have to fertilize it first. Uh, no weeds. It has uh, lime, and it's been plowed. So that is uh, that's good. Okay, so I did uh, slow time down to uh, real time because I would like to uh, keep it in the light here because I know the in the dark uh, the video doesn't show up as well, uh, especially for a time lapse. So yeah, we will uh, power through this uh, with a time lapse. I hope you all enjoy. the uh, cell point here we will uh, let me switch sides here we go and we can unload here if it will unload there we go okay so hopefully we can make I'm hoping at least six thousand maybe seven thousand in grain here the extra uh, I'm not sure Okay, and then we'll pull 50. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot more than I anticipated. I am not complaining. I'm trying to uh, I can do that. There we go. Okay, so that was a lot better than I anticipated. So we can uh, we can get out of the like stuck trying to get out. Okay. So we can uh, go into the menu here and claim our, our reward. So 
Yeah, so we ended up making 40,000 off that job, minus the lease cost, so really 36,000. But still, that is a fantastic profit. Um, so yeah, I thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.